Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, hey, what's up? My name is Caitlin, and this is the channel where I talk all things toys and dolls. Today, we are diving into a potential new brand called Wild Childs. I love these, and I loved them clear back in like 2015 when they were first announced. So I'm super excited that there's actual dolls of these now, and the possibility that they're going to be in shelves, on shelves, is amazing i am very very excited i know that they're needing like exposure i guess on like instagram and stuff so definitely go check them out if you have it i'll have their instagram link down below but these dolls are stunning and we're gonna get into it i'm going to talk about like the timeline i guess of these dolls my thoughts my opinions the dolls themselves we're gonna get into all of it so if you're excited about wild childs or a new brand in general then let's go ahead and dive in So as I mentioned, these did first hit the internet on 2015 uh, with this artwork. So there are the four main growls, as they call them, the girls. <laughs> this is the cheetah. Her name is Chiselle, which is a beautiful name. But this artwork is so, so pretty. She looks phenomenal. I love this blue top. Her artwork is just so, so good. So this was kind of the first teaser intro we got to them. This is the zebra. Her name is... Zari and she is also super super stunning. I love the purple makeup. I love this giant necklace We kind of have her like looking over the shoulder here in a super super cute pose I don't know who my favorite one was honestly We also have Taja who is a tigress. I honestly think she's gonna kind of be the main character She was the first one posted recently the first doll posted i think this was the first artwork posted too but i would have to look back but she's also gorgeous love the red on her i love this dark black hair she just looks so so good i don't know who made the artwork for this but they did an amazing amazing job and the final one for the 2015 artwork was the panda named ping which i think is adorable i really really like this one i think she was my favorite originally like of the four artworks that we saw because she's a panda i love pandas this green eye is super super gorgeous i love her outfit she just looks super super sweet they all have little bios on them too and the beginning pictures on their instagram i don't remember what they say exactly i know she was like the smart techie one but if you want to go look at those definitely do but I also lied because there's this one too. <laughs> I think this one came out a little bit later, but this is the first boy that we're seeing and his name is Chase. Chase and Chazelle are a cheetah couple. Super, super cute. I think they look amazing together. We haven't actually seen the boy doll yet or Chase. We haven't seen Chase yet. There was no like head sculpt for him, anything like that. So hopefully he wasn't put on the back burner because I do really like him and I think this would be a really strong doll, but... Either way, super, super cute. Then we flash forward to 2017, where they had a contest with FedEx, or I guess they entered a contest that FedEx was hosting for small businesses. Um, when they did that, they did release these pictures of three of their characters. We have the first one is the squirrel monkey named Mirindi. Middle one is LaDonna the lioness. And then finally, we have Fabiana the red fox. I have not seen any further artwork for these other than the group shot that you're seeing now and I haven't seen any like revised details on these or anything like that so hopefully we will see these characters in the future though maybe they'll be like a series two or something like that but they look really really good I I love the red fox because I love foxes but the artwork wise the lioness is really drawing me in she looks so so good and now we move on to 2018 where we got revised artwork and this is where you see the bios so this is ping this is her redone artwork looks really cute her name is now included underneath these pictures there are like several pictures and then you can see the actual bios of them that's where it tells you that she's the smart techie one <laughs> for some reason she's the only one i remember but she's super super cute we have chiselle the cheetah also really really pretty i I love this artwork, you guys. Like, it's so good. Uh, they really like the sparkles on the gold detailing there. The sparkles on our gemstones. It's just so, so good. And this is literally just, like, nose and up detailing for the artwork. And then we have Taja coming up here. Again, more artwork. This is the All About Taja. 
Um, I want to say she's like the sporty rebel one, but I could be totally making that up. She looks really, really good though. I like her a lot. And then finally we have Zari the zebra. Really, really cute. Is it Zari or is it Zari? I feel like it has to be Zari, right? I could be very wrong. But this artwork is really beautiful too. I like the orange eyeshadow she's wearing. They just look so good. Like, I'm going to keep saying this artwork is amazing, but it really just is. Like, the artist of this is really good. Then they also released this artwork of the group shot in 2018, which does include Chase, which gives me hope that we are going to get Chase at some point. I love that we have all their fashions here. I think they look super, super good. I, I love their feet so, so much. <laughs> like, I normally don't love the huge feet thing. Like, I know Bratz is really big about that, and I love Bratz dolls. I still do, but I was never super into the feet. But I think these, like, animal feet are super, super cute. And then in 2020, we have face masks because that was the thing for 2020. <laughs> but they are super, super cute. The top one says Savage and it has the four main girls. This one says Growl Power and it has Giselle. And then the bottom one says, I need six feet, bro. I love that. That is Chase the cheetah. They're really, really cute. I don't... I don't know where I was going with that. But anyway, they also have these... I don't know that these came out in 2020, but I'm assuming so. They are currently on their website, but they are sold out. They're like $27.99 a piece, which is a little steep for what they are. They're just plushies, um, but I'm sure that it's a small business, so like it makes sense. I'm not the biggest fan, but I think the hair on the plushies look really good, so yeah. And I mean, the fashion looks good. They're plushies. Finally, we're in 2022, where we got this picture of the head sculpts of the four main girls and a mysterious fifth person. <laughs> I thought at first that this was going to be Chase, but it does look like a female sculpt, so I'm not sure who it is. Maybe it's just another one of these. Maybe we are going to get Fabiana, Mirandi, Mirindi, Mirindi, <laughs> and LaDonna. I don't know. I'm hoping so, but they look super, super good here. Here is a close-up of Chiselle. The hand-painted details on her face are so, so amazing. And we have Ping as well. Again, such amazing detailing. I'm not sure that they're all hand-painted. Like, this could just be the prototype situation, and maybe they will be, like, in set eyes or stickers or whatever else they do. <laughs> I don't know that they're all hand-painted, but these definitely look hand-painted to me. Here is Zari's head sculpt. This looks so good. I love the orange on the zebra print. I just think it pops so amazingly, especially that orange lip. It just looks so, so good. And then she's got blue eyes with the little white detailing there. There does seem to be, I don't know. I was going to say there's like a little scratch on her nose, but I think that's just a light spot from reflection. But she's so good. And then finally for the head sculpts, we have Taja, also stunningly beautiful. I love the shape of her eyeshadow here. That golden eye is beautiful. These are just so good, you guys. Like, I really, really want these to be a thing because I'm getting super excited. <laughs> I love the lip color they chose. Honestly, they're just amazing. I Again, I don't know that they're all going to be hand-painted like this, but we can help, right? Then finally, on October 7th of 2023, we got this beauty revealed. This is the first look at one of the actual dolls we have, and this is Taja. This is why I think she's going to kind of be the main character, because again, she was revealed first. But she is stunningly beautiful, you guys. This face is gorgeous. We've already seen it in detail, but it's gorgeous. I love the white hands with the black claw nails. This outfit is so, so good. The red shirt. I love the ripped jeans. I love the shoes with the giant animal feet. I'm just blown away by how beautiful this doll is. Here we can see a close-up of her face and her hair. I love the black and orange. She's a tiger. Of course, her hair is black and orange, but it looks so good. And again, I love that we have rooted eyelashes here. This one also appears to be hand-painted, but like I said, chances are they're probably not going to all be that way. This is probably just a prototype. Still phenomenally beautiful, though. I really love how they even do, like, the lips where they're kind of, like, puckered out like an animal mouth, if that makes sense. I just think it's so good. Such good attention to detail. 
after Taja, we got Ping, who is equally as beautiful. I'm obsessed. I love these pieces in her hair, the pink parts. I don't know what they're called. This shirt's super cute. Kind of simple, but still really cute. I like the tie. This skirt, though, is my favorite piece she's wearing. I think it looks so, so good on her. I, again, I love the nails. They're, like, shaped like claws, and I think it's super fun. Leg warmers are cute. Love the shoes and the giant panda feet. So adorable. And then we have a close-up of her face. I like the bamboo earrings. There's the flowers I was talking about, the, like, pink flowers in her hair. Her makeup looks amazing. I love the green and the pink together. Her eyes are beautiful. I love the rooted lashes. Her little nose is so adorable. Um, she's got a beauty mark next to her mouth, which is fun. She just looks so, so good, you guys. Next up, we have Giselle. For whatever reason, they haven't posted like a close-up of her face, so this is the only picture I have, but she is stunning. I love her hair. Her makeup looks phenomenal. This orange lip is super, super good. Her outfit seems to be the most extravagant of the four, but I'm obsessed. <laughs> she gives me like genie vibes, which I'm here for. I love her jewelry. She's got the fun claw nails as well. And then her shoes look super cute on her feet that have the three toes and the purple nail polish. Love that. And then finally, we have the reason this video is taking me so long to upload, <laughs> Miss Zari. I wanted to have all four dolls in this video before I posted it, so that's what's taking it so long. I'm sorry, guys. Um, they just revealed her, but she looks so good, like amazing. I really, really like this one. This pattern is so good. I really like her top as well. The orange nails, the shoes are really cute. Here we can see the up close picture of her face. I love this gold band around her head. I think it's really, really adorable. I love that they chose to do white hair with her. I can see them doing like a fun pop of color with her, but I think I like the white, honestly. Um, the eyeshadow that I talked about earlier with this orange against her black and white skin looks so good. I love it a lot. And these shoes. We have to talk about these shoes. Like, <laughs> there's so much detail in these. This is insane. There is a zebra on the front. There is a zebra under a tree for her heel. Like, what is this? <laughs> and I need seven of them. This is so good, you guys. Like, I... I don't know. Like, I really want these. Um, here's a shot of all four of them together, and they look so good. I think I've said they look so good like 27 times in this video, so I'm sorry for that, but they do. I really, really want these to be a thing. I will buy every single one of them. I'm not joking. <laughs> I need them in my collection immediately. So definitely go check them out if you haven't already. Again, I have their Instagram linked in the bio below the video so definitely go look at them if you're interested help them out post them like the pictures all that fun stuff let's make them a reality because like i said i need them <laughs> that's it though that's everything i have on the wild childs so let me know all your thoughts down below who's your favorite are you excited all that fun stuff don't forget to like this video before you go and subscribe so you don't miss out on any more of my future videos and i'll see you guys in my next one bye guys